Secret World Legends is getting an update, Elder Scrolls Legends releases a new expansion, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, those of you uncovering the mysteries within Funcom's free to play MMO Secret World Legends will be happy to hear that there's a new update on the way. This update is focused on quality of life adjustments, but also brings some new additions to the game. If you're doing dungeons but want extra difficulty, you'll now get that with Elite Dungeons being introduced. Accessible at level 50, players can choose from 10 different difficulties that they can take on with 5 other players. As for quality of life, unlocking weapons will now unlock both the passive and active pages for it, inventory space will be increased, AP and SP gains will be increased at level 50, sprint upgrade costs will be reduced, and the extraordinary drop rate will be increased. There's also a lot of other changes in this patch as well, so if there's something in particular you hope was changed, be sure to check out the full patch notes on the official website. And Mass Entertainment's free-to-play action RPG Critica Online entered open beta this week, following a brief head start period for founders. Players can look forward to a variety of limited time events, including leveling awards, attendance bonuses, and more. Never hear of Critica? Well, it features three classes, the Reaper, Gun Mage, and Rogue. Plus, the action brawler will throw hordes of enemies at you in grandiose cinematic displays. If you want to know more before you hit that download button, be sure to check out our first look for the game that's live on the channel. If hacking and slashing your way through hordes of enemies isn't your thing, maybe becoming king of the apocalypse is. Hell, Gaijin Entertainment and Targim Games free-to-play vehicular mayhem title Crossout may be aiming for that title. This week, the team announced that the game has drawn in over 3 million players in its first month. In addition to that, lofty number, 150 million vehicles traverse the terrain in PvP, 1.5 million leviathans have been destroyed, 8 million new items have been constructed, and 1 million transactions occur via the marketplace every single day. Just like with Critica, if you wish to know more, we do have a first look live on the channel, so go check it out. Want some Skyrim in your Elder Scrolls Legends? Well, the free-to-play CCG has received its newest expansion, Heroes of Skyrim, and it brings with it a good bit of content. Featured in this expansion is 150 new cards based off Skyrim's lore, and due to that, you'll now see dragons, shouts, companions, and beloved characters within the game. If you aim to collect all the cards in this expansion, you'll find them within their own packs. I haven't played Elder Scrolls Legends in a good bit, but I'm glad that once I come back, there will be a fair bit of content to enjoy. That said, it's time for the Prediction of the Week. Last week on the show, I asked if you guys like tactical shooters. The majority of you stated that you did, with one stating that they didn't. This week we're doing something new. Every so often I'll lay out a prediction to you guys and you'll get to tell me if I'm crazy or not. Fun, right? As you guys may know, there's a buy-to-play team-based shooter called Lawbreakers that's launching soon, and what I predict is that it will be free to play in one year or less. My reasoning for this is that Bosky has already been flirting with the idea of going free to play, but finally settled on buy-to-play not too long ago. This means that they're willing and will likely be forced to go free to play. But why? Well, the game isn't picking up Steam, pun intended. Its peak on current players on Steam for its open beta is nearly half that of Battleborn, a game that epically failed and hardly anyone is watching it on Twitch, which was the same for Battleborn before launch. Add on top of that, they have poor social media presence, and you have a game that will likely fizzle out a few months after launch, looking for free to play to, well, save it. Let's just hope when this happens, they don't further kill it by calling it a free trial. I'm looking at you, Battleborn. What do you guys think? Am I crazy, or do you think I'm right? Be sure to leave a comment down below. Last up in the news this week, if you've been waiting for another ARPG to play on your Xbox One or PlayStation 4, Gazillion Entertainment's free-to-play Marvel Heroes Omega is now live. Players can now find the game on their platform of choice, just head to the store, search for it, and download it. The game features a ton of heroes free to test out in level, a fair bit of story content for you to chew through, and a good amount of depth within its progression system. Overall, I've found it to be a good game, and if you're a Marvel fan, likely you will as well. 
You know what you'll also enjoy? Giveaways, of course. Yes, head over to MMOBomb.com, check out that giveaways page, bookmark it, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out until next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.